In this video, we are going to run and benchmark Mozilla's DeepSpeech ASR engine, automatic speech recognition, on different platforms such as Raspberry Pi 4, 1 GB version, NVIDIA Jetson Nano, Windows PC and Linux PC. And also, we are going to try it for real-time transcription with hot word detection on Raspberry Pi 4. 2019, last year, was the year when Edge AI became mainstream. Multiple companies have released boards and chips for fast inference on the Edge, and a plethora of optimization frameworks have appeared. Up to date, in my articles and videos, I focused my attention on using machine learning for computer vision, but I was always interested in running deep learning-based ASR project on an embedded device. The problem is that until recently, there was a lack of simple, fast and accurate engine for the task. When I was researching this topic about a year ago, the few choices you had to run ASR, not just hot word detection, but the whole vocabulary transcription on, say, Raspberry Pi 3 were Sphinx, Pocket Sphinx or Regular Sphinx, Kaldi and Jasper, and also a couple of other ones. None of them were easy to install and not particularly suitable for running in resource-constrained environments. So, a few weeks ago, I started researching this area again and after some search, I stumbled upon Mozilla's Deep Speech Engine. It has been around for a while, but only recently, in December 2019, they have released 0.6 version of their ASR engine, which comes with a TF Lite model. It has reduced the size of English model from 188 megabytes to just 47 megabytes. Deep Speech version 0.6 with TensorFlow Lite runs faster than real time on a single core of a Raspberry Pi 4, claimed Ruben Morales from Mozilla in the news announcement. So I decided to verify that claim myself, run some benchmarks on different hardware and make my own audio transcription application with wake-up word detection. Let's see what the results are. Hint? I wasn't disappointed. The installation process is quick and painless on all supported platforms. Consult my article on Hexter for more details if you need. I run the tests 10 times, discarded the first time run and obtained the average time for each hardware I benchmarked. Here is comparison results table. As you see, TF Lite model achieves sub-real-time on modern CPU systems, which is great news for people creating offline ASR applications. Well, we did benchmarking with pre-recorded audio samples, but we want to do some real-time transcribing. Let's do that. For microphone in this demo, Despite you can use any microphone that you'd like, including your laptop's inbuilt microphone, the quality of the sound really influences the result a lot. For this demo, I'm using ReSpeaker USB Microphone Array from Seed Studio. It features the support of far-field voice pickup up to 5 meters and 360 degrees pickup pattern, with following acoustic algorithms implemented. Direction of arrival, automatic echo cancellation, automatic gain control, and noise suppression. I wrote a little script that would run wake up word detection and upon its detection start transcribing a speech with deep speech ASR. It would stop transcribing when stop transcribing keyword is recognized in the transcription. After that, it goes back to waiting for wake up word mode. Here's the result of the script, quite neat and completely offline. Consult the article to learn how to run it on your Raspberry Pi. Blueberry, speech recognition, 
is the ability of a machine or program to identify words and phrases in spoken language. If you're interested in automatic speech recognition and Mozilla's project, have a look at their blog articles, especially the ones which describe the team's initial effort to achieve lower than 10% word error rate. I put the links to the articles in the video description. According to the articles, architecture of the model is a slightly modified version of original Baidu deep speech architecture. The network has five layers. The input is fed into three fully connected layers, followed by a bidirectional RNN layer, and finally another fully connected layer. The hidden fully connected layers use the ReLU activation function. The RNN layer uses LSTM cells with 10H activation. To achieve 6.5 word error rate, a greedy output decoder, which is relatively simple, had to be changed to beam scoring with language model. In the 0.2 version, bidirectional RNN layer was changed to unidirectional since it can work with partially complete inputs and better suitable for streaming applications. I hope you enjoyed this video and the article and it was useful for your projects. In my opinion, 2020 will be the year reliable offline natural language processing and automatic speech recognition will come to edge devices such as our phones, smart assistants and other embedded electronics. If you'd like to participate in that move, you're welcome to have a look at Mozilla's deep speech GitHub repository and try training your own model, perhaps for different language or different vocabulary. The thing I really like about deep speech, apart from it being so easy to use, is that it's completely open source and open to contributions. Stay tuned for more videos and articles. Until the next time!